hello everyone welcome back to my channel so students today i am with the another uh, important questions or uh, passing strategy video for the chemistry subject for triple e st uh, stream so it is subject code is bch double e 102 or 202 it is according to your own semester what subject code you have over there if you are a backlog student then it is definitely 102 if you are a regular student then it is uh, 202 over there so uh, model second uh, is the uh, module second is the passing module so my dear friends in this particular subject there are three passing modules which you have to focus more than other two modules over there by which you can pass easily if you want to score also so this video is also for you people and i will discuss another two modules also in this particular video so first of all module second is the passing module which is energy conversion and storage in which you have to focus some important questions like classification of batteries construction working and applications of uh, sodium ion battery and solid state battery it is also called as lithium polymer battery and flow battery vanadium redox flow battery which is also called as vanadium redox flow battery right so these are the important questions this uh, you have to focus more on this uh, sodium ion battery and this uh, vanadium redox flow battery this will definitely come in the examination among these three definitely one vt will ask over the year right then construction working and application of this methanol oxygen fuel cell and polymer electrolyte membrane that is pem fuel cell so um, among these two definitely one will uh, come in the one will appear in the examination over there and importance of solar pv cell and construction and working of solar pv cell advantage and disadvantage you have to cover so this much content is enough uh, in the module second to pass uh, this particular subject among uh, three modules which which i discussed here the one passing module then module three comes up which is also a passing module over there uh, so corrosion science and e-waste management is the chapter name so you have to cover what is metallic corrosion describe the electrochemical theory of corrosion this is the most important question in this particular module and types of corrosion like differential metal corrosion and differential aeration in which uh, there comes differential aeration uh, under which comes the water line and pitting corrosion so you have to focus on these two water line and pitting then explain corrosion control by anodization and sacrificial anodic method and corrosion penetration rate cpr so numericals will come very simple numericals will come from this uh, particular topic that is corrosion penetration rate you have to focus on so this is the content in the model third and let me proceed further so this is sources types and effects of e-waste on environment and human health right then extraction of copper and gold from e-waste so one will definitely come either uh, extraction of copper or either extraction of gold from the e-waste and advantage and recycling and methods of the disposal over there this is then module fifth comes up which is also a passing module and this is the third passing module and two i have discussed it here and uh, in the model fifth you have to cover construction and working of glass electrode construction and working of glass electrode calomel electrode and concentration cell so you have to focus on these three most important is which may probably come in the examination or definitely i can see that is calomel calomel electrode and glass electrode and also you have to focus on its application on their applications and determination of ph using uh, a glass electrode and uh, what is the definition of the ion selective electrode and working principle and applications of these are the most important ones which you have to focus on Di diagrammatic part over there that is conductometric sensors electrochemical sensors and thermometric sensors and optical sensors right these four you have to focus on so definitely two will come in the examination over there then principle and instrumentation of calorimetric sensors and its application in the estimation of copper potentiometric sensors estimation of iron in this example over here in this case here uh, conductometric sensors that is estimation of weak acid it is already i have mentioned uh, here so you have to focus on its application in the estimation of weak acid over here so this much content is enough to cover the module fifth over the year then module first comes up uh, which is the chemistry of electronic materials so in this case so you just refer uh, the syllabus copy you will see four chapters are in this particular module one is the conductors and insulators semiconductors uh, and polymers and pcb so i may just prefer you you just go through pcb part and semiconductors and conductors and insulators and very less syllabus is in the, these three chapters polymer uh, part is the bigger one so just you can leave it 
so you go through semiconductors conductors insulators and pcb part then in the module fourth which is nanomaterial and display systems in which you have to cover two chapters uh, nanomaterials and display systems so two chapters are very vast as you know syllabus is very vast in this particular subject chemistry so it is not easy to cover in one night or two nights all the syllabus were there but you can focus on some important questions uh, so display systems is the easier part which uh, you can go through that is QLED that is quantum light emitting diodes and OLED uh, OLEDs which is organic light emitting diodes and LCD light uh, liquid crystal displays were there and <clears throat> perovskite materials you can refer through properties and applications of cations in optoelectronic devices were there so this much content is enough to cover module 4 so i hope friends uh, this uh, total content will help you in the examination part over here by which you can easily concur this subject uh, with the uh, sorry 60 to 70 marks over there so thanks for watching my video